Hello everybody, my name is Sky, and today I have a story to share, and this story is about a lost backpack. See, we had this big play happening for drama, and I was one of the lead stars. And our drama teacher had told us that we weren't allowed to have our backpacks in the green room. So I had placed my backpack outside, but in a place where I was like, yeah, no, I'll remember to go get it. And the show happened. We, we did the show. We had fun. And um, it was after the show, and I, I went to go grab my backpack. And it was gone. And I was like, that's fine. It, it, somebody might have, like, picked it up and put it in the lost and found. Something like that. So I went later on during, like, recess and lunch to the lost and found, and it was not there. I was asking around if anyone had seen it. I was hoping that the worst hadn't come to pass. But I had. My backpack was completely gone. And it stayed gone for a good week. And when that week had finished, my parents, who had kept telling me just to write it out, write it out, it show up, it has to show up. Because again, I never told my parents that I had ever been bullied. So it never occurred to them that anyone would maliciously take my backpack or anything. And as time went on, that thought started to form in my head. What if somebody had noticed it? It has my name on the front. I had decorated it with my mom. So. Maybe someone knew it was mine. And tossed it or hid it somewhere that I can't find it. Um. So with that thought looming over me, I'm panicking because I'm like, I... Hey, we don't have the money for another backpack. We don't have the money to replace the books. We, we don't have money to get new notebooks or anything like that. And it's also why my parents wanted me to wait it out for so long. We didn't have money for stuff like that. Especially because textbooks were like $20. <laughs> um, and luckily, Mia. Mia, 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 my best friend, my wonderful, wonderful friend, shows up one day to school with this blue backpack along with her messenger bag. And I was like, Mia, you're carrying a backpack around now? She was like, no, it's for you. What? And she hands me this backpack, and it has notebooks, it has pencil cases that she hand-designed herself. She made me a lot of things. She made little flaps to, like, hold stuff. She made me a study guide for, for anything I had missed while my backpack was missing, because I don't remember things, and she knew that, so she made notes for me. And it had textbooks in it. She bought me textbooks. And I, I almost started crying. I was like, oh my god. Thank you so much, Mia. You have no idea what this means to me. I would do anything for you. Just, just name it, and it's yours. And she was like, I don't need anything. I'm just happy you're my friend. You were one of the first people to give me a chance and look past these ugly rumors that surrounded me and just see me. And I was like, same to you. The amount of rumors that surrounded me, the amount of people who think I have a bad attitude and think I'm horrible or just too cocky for my own good. You know me. So, me and I we went through this notebook, we went through this backpack, and I, I love this backpack so much. And maybe a week using this new backpack, 
we 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 come to find out we find my backpack and it was in the um with stage and sound crew they had their own like separate thing for sound and all that it was with them and we were like what what how and and there was the question of like if it was with them why wasn't it revealed sooner the play had been over by this point like two weeks so why wasn't like anyone noticing you you think the sound crew would have noticed if there was a backpack that wasn't theirs that has a different name on it but we never got answers to that the guy who gave it looked very guilty i remember that because i came home that day and i showed them that i had my backpack and i told them what the guy told me and they were like mm. 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 so i don't know what that meant but i can also guarantee you it was not the best but that's not the point of that story point of the story is that Mia is awesome. Mia is the best. And all praise Mia. <laughs> yeah. So that's today's story. And with that story out of the way, I hope you have a good day. I hope you get to eat all the ice cream you want if you eat ice cream if not anything you like and good